Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as part of the human family, each one of us on this earth has a responsibility towards his or her neighbor. Every other person on earth is an extension of my own self. Because we all of us are children of one Father, one Creator. And thus, we all of us are brothers and sisters. Today, all around us, we see so much of pain, so much of weeping, crying, so much of mourning so much of anxiety, so much of hopelessness. We cannot afford to remain on our ivory towers. We are called today the same question that God had asked Cain in the book of Genesis chapter 4. Let us listen to what God had asked Cain and what Cain had replied to God. We read in the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 9. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? This is exactly is the question today we may be asking. There is a person dying on the road with no treatment, with no oxygen, with no person to even give that person a decent burial. God may be asking me, who is he and why is this person left in such miserable condition? Perhaps I may be saying, replying the same way as Cain did. I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Of course, we all of us are. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. We have the social responsibility to care for each one. And this is the words of hope that we shall reflect on today. From the book of Job, chapter 22, verses 7 to 9. You have given no water to the weary to drink, and you have withheld bread from the hungry. The powerful possess the land, and the favored live in it. You have sent widows away empty-handed, and the arms of the orphans you have crushed. These are the words. Though directed to Job, they were not really meant for Job. It is presenting in a dramatic way how people act in this world. When they have everything they need, they do not care for their neighbor. Especially the neighbor who is in dire need, who is longing for help, assistance, as we experience it today. God is not asking for something great. God is asking for simple things. Whether we are able to feed the hungry, whether we are able to clothe the naked, whether we are able to give medicine to the person who cannot afford to buy it, whether we are 
able to arrange for oxygen cylinder for a person who cannot even step into the expensive hospitals and nursing homes whether we are able to give the basic necessities of life to those who are deprived of in our society and it is our responsibility we cannot just shirk that responsibility that's what God is asking God is not asking us to share our property with others God is asking for what we all of us can do even if it means to feed a hungry person a meal sharing our meal and giving it to a person who is hungry and that is what God also is reminding the people of Israel as a true fasting we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verses 6 and 7 is not this the fast that i choose to loose the bonds of injustice to undo the thongs of the yoke to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke is it not to share your bread with the hungry and to bring the homeless the poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin this is what god is asking us today are we ready to share our bread with the hungry maybe i have just enough of food for myself can i give part of my food with a person who has not eaten the whole day can i share my clothing maybe i have just to so two sets of clothing can i share one set of clothing with the person who is naked that is what god is asking us today and that is the criteria on which we all of us will be judged on the last day when christ will come as the eternal judge to judge every person we recall the wonderful words of jesus in the gospel according to matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46 and we are told that god is going to judge us on the basis of what we have done to the least of our brothers and sisters we read in verses 35 and 36 for i was a hungry and you gave me food i was thirsty and you gave me something to drink i was a stranger and you welcomed me i was naked and you gave me clothing i was sick and you took care of me i was in prison and you visited me and perhaps we would never have such a wonderful time to reach out to our needy brothers and sisters as of today the whole world is calling us to get out of our doorsteps to reach out to the needy there was a, a war there was war going on between two nations and there was uh, one soldier who has been looking for his uh, friend who was also fighting in the front line so he could not find him so he went to his officer and asked his uh, permission to go to the front line to look for his uh, friend the officer looked at uh, this uh, soldier and said perhaps your friend is a uh, dead because the war is fierce and there is no hope your friend would be alive now so why do you want to take risk this soldier said no 
uh, I know my friend would be there. Uh, I would like to go and uh, see what happened to him. Since he was literally pestering the officer, the officer said, okay, go at your own risk. But I tell you, I don't think you will find your friend alive. So the soldier went and after about 15 minutes he came carrying his friend on the shoulder and he was crying. The officer looked at this soldier and said, see, I told you that your friend would be dead and it is uh, useless to go look for him. The soldier looked at the officer and said, no sir, when I reached, my friend was alive. And he looked at me lovingly and said, I knew you would come, you would look for me. Then he died. Dear brothers and sisters, we are privileged to reach out to our brothers and sisters. They are the extension of our own self because they are our very flesh and blood. Let us reach out to them. Let us make change in our lives and in the lives of our brothers and sisters and especially those who are in need. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.